This is the book, Through His Eyes, Restoration for the Rejected, God's Perspective on the Tax Collector and Prostitute of Today, by Mr. Lee Rollins, read by me, Flashlight. Introduction after a person receives salvation, the next most important step is to begin the process of becoming more acquainted with God and their new life in Him. God's salvation is instant. We transfer from death into life when we call upon the Lord Jesus and receive him into our lives. From that point on, our spiritual life is one of progressive growth. It takes time to learn about the knowledge of God. As we study His Word, the Bible, our understanding of Him increases day by day, week by week, and year by year. As we see His ways and our instructions, we adjust our lives accordingly. I believe change is the best word I can use to describe our experience with the Heavenly Father. Our entire life is changed from the inside out. As the Bible puts it, we have become new creations. See 2 Corinthians 5.17 As we study His Word, our minds become renewed to the way He sees things. What that means is we change our minds and begin to think according to His perspective of truth. It makes total sense to adjust our perspective to His. Since He is the author of life, perfectly knowing all things. It is important that we look at issues the way He looks at them. He wants us to view people the way He views them, and He wants us to see ourselves as He sees us. Many times people live their lives in a state of insecurity because they don't know the truth of God's perspective of them. Only the truth will provide the foundation for a life of freedom. This inner freedom will only come from personally knowing the Father's words, attitudes, and actions concerning them and their situations. <clears throat> Though we are forgiven of our past sins and mistakes, many are plagued by condemning memories that the devil brings to their minds. Memories of sin and unclean behavior can spiritually and emotionally cripple people 
for the remainder of their earthly lives. Also, since people are not fully perfected, they may make mistakes and fall into sin. This too can bring on the devil's onslaught of crippling and condemning accusations. God wants us to be free from this type of mental bondage and emotional torment. He wants us to live in and fully enjoy the life of freedom that He has given to us. This freedom will only come from the truth of knowing His perspective concerning our past or present sins and mistakes. The purpose for this book is to share this type of truth. I have two major objectives for two different groups of people. My first and foremost priority is directed to believers who are struggling with their past sin, uncleanness, or evil behavior. God wants you to see His attitude towards you and your past. He then wants you to take His perspective as yours and then live in the freedom that this knowledge will provide. <clears throat> My second objective is for today's Christian leadership and the believers not struggling with past sins or backsliding to also see the Father's ways concerning these same issues. Since you and I are His representatives, we are to duplicate His ways and truths in our attitudes and ministries. We are the vessels that the Father will use to direct our struggling brothers and sisters into His liberating truth. We are then to reinforce His truth through our words, attitudes, and actions so they can build a confident and secure spiritual life.